I'm talking to you on behalf of your vision, the local community organisation for Burrowbridge and the Lower Ewer Valley. We have been pestered, beleaguered, encouraged by children and parents to provide something to further their interest in the local heritage of the area. We live in an isolated area because the children have very little hope of public transport, they live in small villages and there is absolutely nothing in our area for children who have an interest in the heritage of the very rich area we live in. We want them to be able to benefit from this using remote learning by internet and other modern means as well as having a chance to get together to share things and to meet some very good speakers and helpers. The video has been put together by Joe, who has been one of the people that we would try to help. He is now at university, but in his gap years he worked with children and other archaeological projects in the area. Hello, my name's Joe. I'm a student of history and archaeology at the University of Sheffield and I'm producing this video in response to a project that I feel is really, really important. I took two years out from university, but the reason I took them was because I really wasn't sure about what I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to do biology or natural sciences. And it was only through a chance encounter with the local archaeologist that I got involved in the world of history and archaeology. And the opportunities that I gained working with local community groups and with other professionals have been invaluable in giving me a really good personal statement and a CV that's tailored around my interests. I haven't met anyone else in any of my seminar groups or lectures at, at university who, who have been as involved. And I think that this project actually will allow a lot more young people to get involved to the same level that I have. I don't think it's easy to find your way into history and archaeology um, without those opportunities and that's why I think this project is so important. It incorporates a lot of things that are so useful nowadays, technology as you can see I'm interested in camera and film and things like that and it allows young people to get knowledge of excavation techniques and build up the professional links that I've been able to build up and allow them to come to university with a bit of confidence that they are keen on history and archaeology and it is something that they really want to do. So this project for me is vitally important for young people in rural areas and across North Yorkshire because I don't think these projects um, exist really or even any easy ways into history and archaeology. And without this project I think a vital link will be lost between the professional archaeologists and the young people who are going to make up the next generation of either community volunteers or professionals in the field. So I hope you enjoy the video, it's quite an amateur effort, I'm in my early days <laughs> yet, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm quite glad to get John Fletcher on because he's been involved in the so if we did get her back, it would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. She's based at York Uni at the moment, so she has some of the resources to be able to do that, and I'm sure she'd love to work alongside some of you guys as well. That would be great. Absolutely brilliant. But what you've also got to remember is there are a load of experts in the community, floating around, who could tell you lots of stuff. Mm. That are just mm. here, around, who never get the opportunity to sit down with you and talk. You know, like those with World War II memories. No, but with memories of local villages and, and of history that could share their expertise with you and you could help them with the techie issues as well, couldn't you? You could do uh, Facebook, Twitter, have um, social media involved to make it modern as well as looking at history so it's an even contrast. So actually what you're telling us is that a club like this could develop all sorts of skills, couldn't it? Yeah. It could be developing graphics and techie skills and archaeology skills and research skills. And Finn, you're a World War II ex not expert, but you're a real... I like it. You like it. So what would you like to add to this one? Uh, carry on doing plane, crash plane crashes and events in World War II that have happened around here in more detail. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's, that's interesting because Boroughbridge Historical Society at the moment, there's one guy in that group that is trying to find out what everything that happened in Boroughbridge in World War II. And he's now got to the point where he's finished looking at his postcards and written evidence. And he's now going around inter interviewing people. Um, people who remember World War II locally and those who went off to fight and came back. And he's busy doing that at the moment. And he's got hundreds of records. And he's wondering how he can share them because he's not a real IT whiz. So again, it's sort of with yeah. what Angus was saying. Yeah. Yeah. That would be absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Someone who went to the D-Day service, how it's like for them to be able to share their experiences with other people and not keep it bottled up inside of them, like to be able to have other people that um, relate to them in the sense that it would be really good to talk to them because you could understand like how they all feel and why it's important to not keep it all bottled up inside. My name is Lewis Gentle, I'm a youth development worker for North Yorkshire Youth. North Yorkshire Youth is a charity that aims to provide opportunities for children and young people to learn and grow. We do this by supporting youth work in North Yorkshire communities, providing adventurous activities from Carlton Lodge Outdoor Centre and by providing training opportunities for young people and those who work with them. My role as a youth development worker is to set up and develop and support voluntary youth projects. We aim to make setting up youth projects as simple as possible by providing things such as template policies and procedures, undertake DBS checks, providing start-up grants to get clubs up and go, projects up and get running, and, a, and provide a range of resources. As part of my role, I also provide ongoing support for, me for our members, ensuring that all projects provide a safe environment for young people to take part in positive activities. I'm looking forward to working with the Eurovision. Eu Eurovision? <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with the Eurovision project as I feel that it will, is a, will be a, provide an important service to the community of Boroughbridge and surrounding villages and will also help the young people in the area learn, develop and, gr and grow. Recently we've been delighted to link in with Kevin and support Kevin in his work with primary school children which has been remarkable for us to see the enthusiasm of the next generation. And we're very glad that that work is continuing. I'm David Roberts, recently retired head teacher from a local primary school. And I too have seen the great demand there is for this facility to be established in the local community. Not only from the young people, but from their parents and carers, also from the heritage partner who too want to benefit from intergenerational working because they can see that not only have they got skills and knowledge to share but the young people too have got a myriad of skills pertaining particularly to new technologies that they can benefit from too. So we would very much like the uh, heritage to support this bid and satisfy this great need that has been demonstrated locally by children and young people. The bid we're making is on behalf of our young people. It's propelled by them, but we have to act on their behalf to apply for the monies. Thank you.